For more resources and help, come visit us at safety.co.uk. Thanks for watching. In this video, we will help explain the terms hazard and risk. These two terms can be used to complement one another, but they are often misused or poorly applied when it comes to health and safety. By understanding the simple relationship between hazard and risk, we can use them effectively in health and safety management. First off, let's look at the term hazard. What is a hazard? Simply, it is something with the potential to cause harm. A hazard can take many forms. It could be an object, a substance, an energy source, or even an existing work practice or process. Examples of hazards could be such things as substances, such as harmful chemicals, energy sources, such as machinery with moving parts, work practices such as working at height from a ladder or lifting and moving materials with a forklift. Okay then, so if a hazard has the potential to cause harm, what is risk? Risk is the chance of that harm actually being caused. In other words, the probability or chance that someone may suffer injury or illness due to an existing hazard. It is important to know that when we perform a risk assessment, we need to consider two aspects to risk. The likelihood of the harm occurring and the severity or degree of harm that may be caused. This allows us to put in place proportionate risk control measures. Let us look at a simple example. Our water cooler on the floor has a leak. This has created a puddle on the floor which is now a slip hazard. If we do not remove or control this hazard, there is a significant risk that someone may slip and injure themselves. On the other hand, if we had identified the potential for harm and put suitable, simple control measures in place, such as barriers, the chance of someone slipping in the puddle would now be very low. So, although the hazard itself still exists, the actual level of risk to employees would be greatly reduced.